Welcome to another Noble Review Session for students of AP Microeconomics. In this video, we're going to talk about per unit taxes versus lump sum taxes. And then we're going to talk about per unit subsidies versus lump sum subsidies. Per unit taxes will affect total costs, variable costs, and marginal costs. Now here's the important thing. If the government imposes a per unit tax, the marginal cost curve will shift upward. This is significant because when marginal costs change for a firm, the output will change. So when the MC curve shifts up, the output will decrease. If you're working with a monopoly, the total revenue will fall as the price rises, output decreases, and the profit will also decrease. Now if the government imposes a lump sum tax, that's only going to affect a firm's fixed cost and total cost. The marginal cost curve is going to stay constant. And if the marginal cost curve doesn't change, the output does not change. Output stays the same. However, this raises the average total cost for the firm, so the profits will decrease. Here's a quick visual of a monopoly experiencing a per unit tax and a lump sum tax. So in the case of the per unit tax, I have the marginal cost curve shifting upward. So as you can see, the MR equals MC point is going to decrease from Q to Q1. The price is going to increase from P to P1. Now average total cost and average variable cost are also going to shift up in this case. However, the graph would be way too messy to draw here. In the case of the lump sum tax for the monopolist, it's the ATC curve that shifts upward. So now the area of economic profit is going to become an economic loss in this example. So the profits will decrease. Now if the government instead changes their taxes to subsidies, we'll get the opposite effect. Remember, a subsidy is just the opposite of a tax. Now the government's paying the firm to produce. So when it comes to a per unit subsidy, that will shift the marginal cost curve downward and therefore output will increase. If you're working with a monopolist, that will lower the price, and that would also raise total revenue and raise economic profit. If it was a lump sum subsidy, there would be no change in marginal cost. However, it would lower the average total costs and the fixed costs. But because marginal cost stays put, the output will also stay constant. The economic profit would increase for the firm. Well, that wraps up this Noble Review session on per unit taxes and subsidies versus lump sum taxes and subsidies. So remember, keep the focus on the marginal cost curve and whether or not the marginal cost curve shifts because that's what's going to lead to a change in output. Thanks for watching and good luck.